Uh, we're not there yet, um, and it's always very dangerous to count your chickens before they're hatched, but I think from the data uh, that I've got coming in across the United Kingdom, um, it, it does look to me, although UKIP is going to win uh, this election, and yes, that will be an earthquake, because, uh, you know, never before uh, in the history of British politics has a party that would be seen to be an insurgent party ever topped the polls in a national election. There's always been a degree of scepticism around the continent, but I think since the European project made its two massive mistakes, firstly the Eurozone, which clearly uh, doesn't work uh, and has left a vast swathe of the Mediterranean uh, now stuck in a downward deflationary spiral, and secondly, uh, the enlargement of the Union uh, to bring in the former Soviet bloc countries with the rights of free, of free movement uh, between poor and rich countries. And they've been the two great errors uh, and I think that in the last five years, uh, those errors have been seen uh, to be real mistakes. And we're going to get, you know, a good number of Eurosceptics elected to the European Parliament. Whether that makes a big difference in European politics remains to be seen, but it's going to make a very big difference in the domestic politics, particularly of the member states, uh, predominantly in the north of Europe. And I think that up until now, uh, European integration, whether one liked it or not, always seem to be inevitable. And I think that inevitability uh, will end with these results tonight. You talked about the big prize being trying to disrupt the new commission. Is that what you intend to do uh, with, your, uh, with your allies in the European Parliament to try to block the commission, whoever is uh, proposed to be running it? Well, I mean, if there is a wide Eurosceptic alliance and an opportunity uh, to block the appointment of an outright raving Federalist, um, from what I can see all the candidates are, then yes, we try to do so. But, but I still think that the real effect of these elections, with big Eurosceptic gains in many countries, will be less what happens in Brussels and more what happens within the member states. And I think the day when we have more referendums on EU membership and membership of the Euro uh, will have come much, much closer with these results tonight.